what do these documents tell us about Osama bin Laden's management style from what you're hearing? There are a tiny handful of, of journalists and analysts who've had a look at these documents and have commented on it. Peter Bergen, CNN's counterterrorism analyst, has commented on, had a look and commented. And it's really a, a, an interesting look in how al-Qaeda was sort of behaving and operating in its last years and a real insight into the mind of Osama bin Laden, who really appears to be, at some levels, a micromanager instructing al-Qaeda in the north of Africa, for example, to plant trees so that they can hide their attack to uh, al-Qaeda in Yemen saying um, fuel up your vehicles and have a lot of food before you go on an operation so that you don't stop at government gas stations and fill up and, and good advice. Be, uh, uh, yeah but there's other much stronger advice there I mean he's he's really concerned about the organization he's telling he's telling the al-Shabaab in Somalia not to take al-Qaeda's name because the name has become so toxic he said this will make it harder for you it will give you more enemies potentially harder to get money. Lessons learned also he talks about from um, al-Qaeda in Iraq's experiences, telling the Shabab in Somalia again, don't take on the tribes, because in Iraq that counted against al-Qaeda. Information, so still hands-on managing. Well, let's look at exactly what some of the things uh, are saying in the documents. Peter Bergen, as, as you say, has read them, and one of them reads this. The Americans have accumulated expertise of the photography of the region due to the fact that they've been doing it for so many years. They can even distinguish between houses that are frequented by male visitors at a higher rate than is normal. I mean, this is such fascinating stuff. I mean, but how much detail uh, is he expected to, that you know of that, he, that Osama bin Laden goes into when it comes to tactics and strategy? Well, we know even precisely when he, when he wrote this. This was in October 2010, and he was writing about Waziristan, where al-Qaeda's training camps are in the west of Pakistan, close to the border with Afghanistan. And in that document, he goes on to say, we, I may consider pulling all the brothers, all the al-Qaeda or most of the al-Qaeda members out of there, and even has specific instructions for his son, 20-year-old son Hamza, who is in that area. He says that Hamza should get out and go to Qatar in the Gulf, a Gulf state, but he should only move when there's adequate cloud cover. Bin Laden is very aware that the leadership, the core leadership of al-Qaeda, their key planners and operators are being decimated by the United States drone strikes. And, he, and this is what he's writing about here. And real quick, Nick, do, do any of these documents from what you've heard implicate Pakistan's intelligence agency? As far as we know, there is no smoking gun there that says that the Pakistan ISI intelligence services knew that bin Laden was living in that house in Abbottabad. That's, that's what we're aware of so far.